Hey everybody, Kevin here, and welcome to our MVC for Type Rocket Pro tutorial series. Now, we will be using Type Rocket Pro, so keep that in mind as you follow along. To begin with, let's cover the UI that we'll be creating. Now, this UI includes a interface for our flights section that we'll be creating, and this flight section is essentially a custom database table that we'll be building an interface for. So this is not a post type, is really the main point. Our seats will be a post type and they will include custom fields. And we can kind of see where these custom fields get pulled in on this uh, table UI that comes with the post type. And if I click edit here, we'll see that there is no title field and there is no editor field for this particular post type. We only have custom fields. Swinging back to the flight section, we'll also look into one of our records here and we'll see that this flight connects to a seat. So we have a relationship field between the seat and the flight itself. And then we also have a relationship between the flight and our users database table, which would be for our users here. And we have a custom field that connects relationally to that part of data. So essentially what we've created here is a, an intermediate or junction table using this flights interface between our seats and our users. And this would essentially be, again, our junction table where we connect flights to customers, or sorry, seats to customers. And this is our interface and how we control that. So our relationship fields, again, connect to seats and to users. And if we look at what the database should appear to be, it would be we're using post types within WordPress, a table for that within WordPress, and it's scoped to the seat post type. And then those seats can have many flights and then our users can have many flights as well. And then this is our junction table, this WP flights table. One of the things to note here is if you're used to a, a more traditional approach of building out the table, you might would call this WP underscore seats underscore users because it's the seats users table. However, we're going to be using more domain specific language in this tutorial. So that's why we end up with this underscore flights table with a WP pre prefix. In the code, we can kind of take a closer look at what it is that we've built or we will build. So here we have our post table, our flights custom table with some custom fields, seat and customer ID notes and meta, as well as a primary key of ID and then our users table and these three tables, the post table, the flights table and the users table will be used in this tutorial series. And here we can see we have a record in the WP flights table where we have an ID of one for it, customer ID of one and seat ID of one. And then this particular row will map to our users and our user is of ID one. So that's where we go. Customer ID one connects to this particular user. And then a seat ID of eight connects to back to our flight again of ID of eight. So that's how we're building the relationship here with our custom fields. And then as we move through the tutorial, we'll see how those things uh, get connected. We'll also be building out models in this tutorial series. So if I jump here to this particular model, we'll see that this model can belong to a user and it can belong to a seat. And we'll dive more into the eloquence of this code as we move into the tutorials, but I uh, just wanted to give you a quick glance at sort of what you can expect to build. And then as we move through the series, we'll be building out not only a custom theme with TypeRocket, but also a custom plugin with TypeRocket. And then lastly, we'll make sure that we are using the Galaxy CLI tool. So here, this tool essentially allows us to build out our different boilerplate code templates that we need. So for example, we can make migration and model files, and these are just our PHP files that will house our custom code and it allows us to do that quickly. So I can do galaxy make model Kevin, hit enter here, and then it'll give me some things that I, I need to know about this. So I'm just gonna do this really quick. And then we'll jump over to our theme under app models, and we'll see we have this Kevin model built out. So again, we're, be, we're going to be using a CLI tool to build 
some of our models and controllers as well as policies and migrations. And so I'll jump over to controllers here just so you can see. Here we have a controller with a bunch of different methods on it and we'll see how that works. We'll be using views so we can return views and let's jump over to a view so we can look at what that is. Flights here, index, and this particular view spits out that table that we saw earlier in the interface. And then if we jump back to our controller, we'll see that we have uh, flights can update and this is policy protection to make sure that any unauthorized access does not happen and those policies would happen in this auth folder where we can have essentially different types of authorization for different users that have particular capabilities within WordPress. So we'll be doing that as well in this tutorial series. And then lastly, we'll be building out these migrations where we can essentially run a migration and it will create tables, drop tables, alter tables, add information to the database as we need it to as we move through our particular uh, applications that we build. And then in the plugin version, these migrations can also be run on plugin activation. So if I jump over to the plugin here, we'll see that we have activate. We'll be able to mi run that migration. Migrate up simply means run the up section of our migration, which in our case would be to create a table. And again, we're going to be doing all of that here very soon in this tutorial series. So. If you're excited about using NVC inside of WordPress and you want to do it with TypeRocket, then this is the series for you. And we're excited to get started. So let's get things set up in the next video.